Hello students. Today's topic is microbes used in food biotechnology and fermented foods and their benefits. This topic we will learn in four sections. Advantages of biotechnology and microbial biotechnology, microorganisms used in food processing, benefits of fermentation and commonly used fermented foods. First let us look into the definition of biotechnology and microbiology. Biotechnology is the branch of biological science which deals with the manipulation through genetic engineering of living organisms or their components to produce useful products for various applications in biological sciences. Microbiology is a branch of biology dealing with the structure, function, uses and modes of existence of microscopic organisms. Biotechnology has very many benefits. They are providing resistance to crop pests, increasing crop yield, reducing chemical pesticide usage. It also provides a wide variety of fermented foods and sustainable development of agriculture and environmental health. Microbial biotechnology enabled by genome studies has helped in improved vaccines and better disease diagnostic tools, improved microbial agents for biological control of plant and animal pests, modification of plant and animal pathogens for reduced virulence, development of new industrial catalysts and fermentation organisms and development of new microbial agents for bio remediation of soil and water contaminated by agricultural runoff. Microbial biotechnology is an important area that promotes for advances in food safety, food security, value added products, human nutrition and functional foods, plant and animal protection and overall fundamental research in the agricultural sciences. Microorganisms found in the soil help to improve agricultural productivity. Naturally occurring organisms have been used to develop biofertilizers and biopesticides to assist plant growth and control weeds, pests and diseases. This is a pictorial representation of how bacteria have been manipulated for the well-being of the mankind. Bacteria have been extensively used in healthcare to produce antibiotics, make medically important chemicals like insulin and probiotics as food supplements. It helps in converting waste into fuel. It has also been used in agritech and environment. It clean up spills making transgenic plants. Even in the industry it has been used to change the DNA molecule, break down sewage and assist in food industry. Now let us look at these microorganisms which have been extensively used in the food industry. First bacteria. Bacteria are used to make a wide range of food products. The most important bacteria in food manufacturing are the lactobacillus species. Let us look into the dairy industry. First cheese. Culture grows in the milk. It converts the sugar lactose into lactic acid which ensures the correct level of acidity and gives the cheese its moisture. As the cheese ripens, the culture gives it a balanced aroma, taste, texture and it is also responsible for the holes in cheese. In yogurt and other fermented milk products, the culture is responsible for the taste and texture of the final product. Depending upon the acidity, the product will have either a mild or a strong taste and the viscosity depends on the quantity of the polysaccharides that are produced. In recent years, probiotic cultures have become popular in dairy products because of their health benefits. These cultures are selected strains and there is good evidence that they improve digestion, safeguard the immune system and keep the body's intestinal flora in balance. This is a pictorial representation of yogurt and the different types of cheese where bacteria are used in the processing. 
in the meat industry too starter cultures are used to make dried fermented products such as salami pepperoni chorizo and dried ham lactic bacteria develop the flavor and color of the products in addition a wide variety of molds are used to ripen the surface of the sausages preserving the natural quality of the product and controlling the development of the flavor in wine industry yeast are responsible for the fermentation process which produces alcohol in wine however lactic bacteria also play an important role as they convert the unstable malic acid into the stable lactic acid this conversion gives the stability that is characteristic of high quality wines that improve on storage just have a look at the different types of wines white pink and red and ham sausages salami that are prepared using bacteria even in the health industry lactic bacteria are used in many different tablets and capsules sold as supplements in the health food industry our hectic modern lifestyles often lead to an imbalance in the intestinal flora travel and medical treatment are two of the major culprits by taking these supplements containing lactic bacteria this balance can be restored improving the quality of life lactic bacteria are also playing an important role in the preparation of sauerkraut which is fermented cabbage this is the lactic acid bacilli after bacteria yeast is another important microorganism which is widely used in food production they have two main uses baking and in the preparation of alcoholic beverages baking baked goods like bread rise because of the presence of yeast at a raising or a leavening agent the most common yeast used in bread making is saccharomyces cerevisiae it feeds on the sugars present in the bread dough producing the gas carbon dioxide this form bubbles within the dough causing it to expand sugar and eggs in the mixture speed up the fermentation while fats and salt slow it down different types of bread that are prepared making use of yeast as the microorganism in the brewing process several different types of yeast are used where they ferment the sugars present in the malted barley to produce alcohol one of the most common is again saccharomyces cerevisiae the same strain that is used in bread making this is used to make ale types beers and is known as top fermenting yeast as it forms foam on the top of the brew bottom fermenting yeast such as saccharomyces pastorianus are more commonly used to make lagers they ferment more of the sugars in the mixture than top fermenting yeast giving a cleaner taste the alcohol in wine is formed by the fermentation of the sugars in grape juice with carbon dioxide as a byproduct yeast is naturally present on grape skins and this alone can be sufficient for the fermentation of sugars to alcohol to occur a pure yeast culture most often saccharomyces cerevisiae is usually added to ensure the fermentation is reliable sparkling wine is made by adding further yeast to the wine when it is bottled the carbon dioxide formed in the second fermentation is trapped as bubbles apart from bacteria and yeast molds are also used in food production they are essential components of several food products such as cheese sausages and soy sauce soy sauce is traditionally made by mixing soya beans and other grains with a mold either aspergillus oryzae or aspergillus sojae and yeast traditionally this is left to ferment in the sun but nowadays it is mostly made under industrial conditions the key flavor ingredients formed in the process are salts of the amino acid glutamic acid notably monosodium glutamate cheese making three main types of cheese rely on the molds for their characteristic properties blue cheese soft ripened cheese and the rind washed cheese to make blue cheese 
the cheese is treated with a mold usually penicillium roqueforti while it is still in the loosely pressed curd form as the cheese matures the mold grows creating blue veins within it which gives the cheese its characteristic flavor and color examples include stilton roquefort and gorgonzola soft ripened cheese such as brie and camembert are made by allowing penicillium camemberti to grow on the outside of the cheese which causes them to age from the outside in the mold forms a soft white crust and the interior becomes runny with a strong flavor rind wash cheeses like limburger also ripen in words but here as the name suggests they are washed with brine and other ingredients like beer and wine which contain mold this also makes them attractive to bacteria which add to the flavor these are the different types of cheese which are fermented by mold roquefort camembert and lamburger meat fermentation a wide variety of molds of the penicillium species are used to ripen the surfaces of sausages the mold cultures play a role in aroma formation and improve the texture of the sausages they also contribute to shortening of the ripening period and preserving the natural quality and in that way expanding the shelf life of the meat product inoculation of sausages with molds were traditionally done with the indigenous flora of the slaughters the so called house flora now let us look at fermentation in general in the food processing unit fermentation is the conversion of carbohydrates to alcohols and carbon dioxide or organic acids using yeast bacteria or a combination thereof under anaerobic conditions fermentation usually implies that the action of microorganisms is desirable the science of fermentation is also known as zymology or zymurgy the term fermentation is sometimes used to specifically refer to the chemical conversion of sugars into ethanol a process which is used to produce alcoholic beverages such as wine beer and cider fermentation also employed in the leavening of bread where carbon dioxide is produced because of the yeast activity in preservation techniques to produce lactic acid in sour foods such as sauerkraut dry sausages kimchi yogurt and also in pickling of foods with vinegar where predominantly acetic acid functions fermentation of fruits and vegetables can bring about many benefits to people particularly in the developing countries most important function is it improves food security fermentation technologies play an important role in ensuring the food security of millions of people around the world particularly the marginalized and the vulnerable groups this is achieved through improved food preservation increasing the range of raw materials that can be used to produce edible food products and removing anti nutritional factors to make the food safe to eat in food preservation fermentation becomes a cheap and energy efficient methods of preserving perishable raw materials drying freezing canning pickling may be um, inappropriate for the use on the small scale in developing countries in terms of food safety implications contaminations and economically it may not be viable fermentation requires very little sophisticated equipment and it is a technique that has been employed for generations to preserve food for consumption at a later date and to improve food security world over fermented foods have played a role in preserving food to enhance food security it also helps in salvaging waste foods fermentation can be used to convert the waste food into something which can be consumed this increases the range of raw materials that are available as food for example tempeh bongrek is a protein rich food which is made in indonesia by fermenting peanut and coconut press cake remaining after the extraction of oil it is mold fermentation 
initiated by the inoculation of the soaked acidified press cake with the rhizopus species. Similarly, pineapple peel vinegar. Through fermentation, pineapple peel vinegar can be produced that was otherwise would have been discarded. The product is of a distinct light pineapple flavor and used in the same way as other vinegars. Removal of anti-nutritional factors. Many fruits and vegetables contain naturally occurring toxins and anti-nutritional compounds which get removed during fermentation. Then increasing income and employment. The production of fermented fruit and vegetable product provides income and employment to millions of people around the world. Food processing is probably the most important source of income and employment in Africa, Asia and also in Latin America. It also helps in improving the nutrition. Enrichment of the diet through development of diversity of flavors, aromas and textures in food substrates, fermentation of grains, particularly by moles, break down the indigestible protective coating as they are rich in cellulose splitting enzymes. This increases the permeability of digestive juices. Then preservation of substantial amounts of perishable foods through lactic acid, alcohol, acetic acid and alkaline fermentation makes the food available off season. Biological enrichment of food substrates with protein, essential amino acids and vitamins is possible. It eliminates anti-nutrients. It decreases the cooking time and the fuel requirement. And most importantly, it probably decreases fat deposition, stimulates metabolism, normalizes stomach acidity and protects stomach and intestinal lining. Now let us look into the traditional commonly consumed fermented foods of India. Large quantities of acid leaven bread and pancakes are consumed daily in India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Nepal, Tibet and other neighboring countries. Idli, dosa, dhokla are produced primarily in South India and Sri Lanka and jalebis are consumed throughout India, Nepal and Pakistan. Idli is a white, small, acidic, leavened, steam cooked product made from fermented batter of rice and black ram dal. It is a soft, moist and spongy having a pleasant sour odor. Rice and dal are soaked separately in the proportion of 2 is to 1. They are ground and mixed together, salted to taste and allowed to ferment. The fermentation is a mixed auto-fermentation. The microorganisms present in the ingredients and those from the atmosphere bring about the fermentation. A temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius is ideal. This is the flow chart to show how exactly the batter is made. Dosa is another fermented product. It is prepared from rice and black ram dal in the proportion of 3 is to 1 to 4 is to 1. They are ground and mixed together, salted to taste and allowed to ferment. The fermentation is a mixed auto fermentation. The microorganisms present in the ingredients and those from the atmosphere bring about the fermentation. A temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius is ideal. The batter is thinner than of idlis and served like a pancake. The organisms identified in this fermentation process are Lactobacillus delbrueckii, Lactobacillus lactis, Streptococcus lactis, Streptococcus faecalis and Leuconostoc mesenteroids. During fermentation, Leuconostoc mesenteroids and Streptococcus faecalis develop concomitantly and the soaking stage and then continue to multiply following grinding. Leuconostoc mesenteroids is considered to be the microorganism essential for leavening of the batter and also responsible along with the S. faecalis for acid production in idli, dosa and other related products. Again a pictorial representation of how idlis are steamed, idli, dosa and dhokla. Dhokla is similar to idli except that dehulled Bengal gram dal is used instead of black gram dal in its preparation. The fermented batter is poured into a greased pie pan and steamed in the open rather than 
the covered idli steamer. Jalebis are pretzel-like syrup-filled confections prepared from deep-fried fermented wheat flour dough. Saccharomyces bayanus saccharomyces was isolated as a fermenter of wheat flour paste during the preparation of jalebis. However, jalebis can also be prepared using commercial baker's yeast as a fermenter. Acid leaven bread and noodles are also prepared in the Asia Pacific region. Although yeast fermented breads are widely consumed in Asia Pacific region, leaven bread type foods are not the traditional staples of that region. Chinese have traditionally consumed steam bread or mantau, which is prepared by steaming yeast leaven wheat dough, often filled with sweets, meats, and vegetables. The production of rice wine is a highly industrialized process in the Far Eastern countries. Numerous studies on the koji molds, sake yeast, and lactic acid bacteria and their interactions during rice wine brewing have been conducted in Japan. The application of modern biotechnology, particularly the application of immobilized microorganisms to brewing, has been studied widely and has substantially improved the traditional process of rice wine making. The use of recombinant DNA strategies for strain development is a major issue in this area of research. So, in conclusion, biotechnology has played a major role in improving agricultural practices. Microbial biotechnology has helped in improved vaccines, better disease diagnostic tools, improved microbial agents for biological control of plant and animal pests, modifications of plant and animal pathogens for reduced virulence, development of new industrial catalysts and fermentation organisms. Bacteria, yeast, molds have been used extensively in the fermented products. Fermented foods play an important role in providing food security, enhancing livelihoods and improving the nutrition and social well-being of millions of people around the world, particularly the marginalized and the vulnerable. Nutritionally too, fermented foods have many advantages. Idli, dosa, dhokla are some of the traditional fermented foods commonly consumed in India. Thank you.